I mean, this is the first time you started a program. So talk to me about some of your challenges, but also some of your successes. Yeah, I mean, I think our biggest challenge was being able to blend the different unique skills in the beginning, having people come out of their comfort zone and crossing over into other skill sets. And for instance, we have about 50% of artistic gymnasts and about 50% of competitive cheerleaders and having them come out of their comfort zone to blend their skills to get to the level that we are and do it so quickly. I mean, I think that's one of the biggest things that we haven't really... Um, acknowledge is that we as a team came most everybody on our team came from not having any acrobatics and tumbling um, background so unlike other division one in other division two and division three programs that are inaugural season a lot of them had transfers that had already competed on um, this skill set where our team comprised of individuals that never competed before and yet we still blended it together to be successful in this season and I think that speaks just to the caliber of their natural talent and their willingness to try something out of their comfort zone. So explain to me, or, or ladies also would like to hear, how it feels or what the impact is of not only starting a team, but starting it at HBCU and then add what flavor an HBCU gives um, tumbling and acro. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> um, I think that I'm glad that Morgan has a, an acrobatics and tumbling team because no other school, as you guys know, has one and it's nice to see like show other girls that they don't have to go to far away or to another school or to a pwi because we could be just as good i feel like hbcus have a bad rep like everybody thinks like like we're beneath like pwis but showing especially on acro how we are getting up there i feel like that's setting the tone yeah i would say the same thing hopefully we can like set the tone for other hbcus to have an acrobatics and tumbling team that would be nice to see like other people like us um, compete and maybe we can compete against them. So it will be great to see that. Mm -hmm. Now, how, what do you, how do you feel, Coach? I mean, I think the biggest thing that I'm excited about is that in HBCU, we have the opportunity to showcase uh, minorities on a, a deeper level um, and really show that not only can we be talented on the mat, but we can be talented in the classroom. I mean, our team's GPA uh, speaks for itself with an average from the fall of over 3.2 GPA. And so I think one of the biggest things that we have shown is that not only are we academically talented, we're physically talented, but we're doing it as a women of diversity. And that's something that you you don't see at, at PWIs is how deep of um, the amount of diversity that we have on our team. I mean, if you think about it um, and knowing the statistics before Morgan State added an HBCU team, um, that the acrobats and tumbling had less than 9% of minorities in acrobats and tumbling. With adding Morgan State as the first Division One HBCU, we went from 7% of um, diversity to 17% of diversity. And I think that just speaks volume just by me being able to recruit 30 members to our program. We increased our diversity in our sport. Um, so I think that's something to recognize it with HBCUs and give us the opportunity, especially women of color, more of an opportunity to feel like they're at home in a safe environment, learn and be successful on the mat. I mean, I think one of the biggest flares that you can see that we have is that we enjoy um, music and we enjoy family and we enjoy culture. Any last words from any three, from all three? I said all my words. <laughs> I really have a lot of words. Huh? I just hope, you know, we get, the team gets more wins next season. I would love to come back as an alumni and, you know, cheer my old team on. I think for me, uh, you know, the biggest thing is we haven't even peaked yet. So just continue to watch us, watch us grow, watch out. Um, we're definitely shooting for a championship. So um, just continue to watch this program because we will be a top program in the, in the coming years for sure.